Hello and welcome. We are going hey. to be going over some storyboards. <laughs> yeah, storyboards from, for sure. <laughs> from 2021, mind you, not 2020, not 2022. We had some submissions that were mistaken. But nice to meet y'all. I'm Nafi and. Hi, uh, I'm me, the duck mask. <laughs> yes, that is us. Yo, yeah, hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. <laughs> okay, so, uh, should I get a start on this then, or...? <laughs> yeah, we'll be getting started with the storyboards themselves today, going over some of the top eight from okay, that the top year. eight of the grand storyboards of 2021. Alright, so, starting with, uh, for, uh, number eight. We have um, Various Artists Summer Soundtrack by uh, Tochi. Various Artists is my favorite artist. <laughs> I really love that one. <laughs> Alrighty. So, <laughs> I have an epic 16 minute storyboard here that I think we would like to have a nice showcase for, you know, have a nice peek at. <laughs> I would like to suggest that. <laughs> Y'all want to watch this for 16 minutes? I think we should. <laughs> don't play it all. We don't worry. I promise we won't. <laughs> but <laughs> it would be kind of funny if we did. Um, so this one is compilation storyboard as the artist name implies. And I think Tochi did a really cool job with all the subtle elements on the design. Not only like the overlays during the main songs themselves and just like the subtleties to the animations, like kind of like all the subtle color shifts that are just kind of soothing, not distracting. And then whenever you finish a song, there's this really, really cool transition. Check it out. Oh my goodness, the loading bar was further than I thought that. What do I do? Oh, oh wait. Oh, it's happening, oh, wait. it's almost there, it's almost there. There it goes. Oh wait, that song ended up- So when the song ends on something, Tochi has like a unique transition that kind of comes out of the last object that looks really cool. And plus the art choices, they're pretty good. <laughs> Excellent choices, yeah. I love- I love art. <laughs> Also, I don't know how well it shows on the screen, but he did use the overlay layer, so you can actually, like... It actually covers your hit circles, so good luck. You're kind of playing with the skin even if you don't want to. There's the transition, finally! Oh. <laughs> and it does, like, have kind of a variety of mappers to the map, too, which... I really like the design for, like, labeling the songs and everything, so that's cool. Um... And so that was our top number eight by Tochi again. Summer soundtrack on the way home. Next up, we do have a tie, I believe, for number six. So for number six, one of our number sixes is RPG, hosted by Zell, kind of one of those legendary collabs composed by you, made and it was like initially released just like as a surprise featured artist announcement so there was a lot of things going into coordinating this all together and Ono? Ono really killed it. It was an overall really well designed visual storyboard. I, I love when compilation storyboards or uh, collabnik storyboards try to do more than just a simple name on the screen, you know? <laughs> As you try to put some design into it to make them visu visually appealing on top of everything else. <laughs> mm 
I would like to mention, it's also very impressive that Bono was able to work with what he had, considering he had, like, maybe two days to make this. <laughs> I think that I'm getting a storyboard was pretty last minute. Also, those transitions are super sick. So, this is all one long song, but with different, like, very distinct sections and collab mapping that they did for the tournament. And I like I like the color changes throughout this. They're so cool. And doing more than just <laughs> just putting a name on the bottom right corner. <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys watch more, one more beautiful color transition and then we'll check out the next number six. I would also like to give a nice mention to the spinning gear. He's cool too. But yeah, like this flash white, that's sick. Also, this was partly an excuse just to hear this part of the song. This is personally my favorite part of the song. <laughs> but, Duck, I guess I'll give that to, next part to you. Oh, we're going to the next one now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so... For tied to the sec uh, uh, sixth place is uh, I don't know, Raph Felicia and Billy Moto, My Love, storyboarded by Mao and Nafi. So, yeah, this epic little storyboard here was for our memorable little contest that we had last year. It was the Maybe winner. Like, uh, we're not going to rank it with the current storyboard. <laughs> So me and Mal added a lot of stuff to it. Over <laughs> had a bunch of changes to really snazz up the the map this time. <laughs> I stole his lyric script. You stole it? <laughs> yeah, from Mal. <laughs> I was like, hey Mal, I'm still using your lyric script. And then I made him suffer making these triangles. Oh, the on, Originally the on they were supposed him. to be animated between those shapes. But we ended up not, because it looked bad. And he's like, we didn't even need to animate this as like individual pieces. He could have just made a JPEG. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, I want to make you suffer. <laughs> and this is like one of like two storyboards in Elon that use a video. Yeah, the, you know, what, a pretty and a pretty epic video at that. I think that this was a pretty cool job of seamlessly working videos and storyboards and the storyboarding elements together. <laughs> Then you can make a nice overall product with both of them. <laughs> or you can watch one on its own. They both work like, on their own. Look at that, that was pretty cool. Despite though. the disclaimer in the beginning, they both work on their own. <laughs> Who made this video? <laughs> Me. That was you, so you all did all that crazy rendering stuff with the broken heart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> that's, that's pretty sick. Thanks. Um, they also have their background art commission, so do make sure to use that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make the most of what you got. Mm -hmm. Who was the artist that you commissioned for this? <laughs> I don't remember. I wasn't in their team at the time. Oh. So I just remember them saying, yeah, we got this commission, this is custom art, and I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> we just have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Never Alone was ranked 2022. <laughs> Maybe we'll see that in the results in December 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Not so subtle call out. <laughs> Oh, Nafi. <laughs> budget for this storyboard was actually like 30 bucks because the email split the stock, the cost of the stock footage right here. <laughs> you spent money for this too? Wow. A lot for this storyboard. <laughs> storyboard with a budget? That's crazy. <laughs> now that puts the storyboard at at least $30 worth. <laughs> You ever want to auction it? <laughs> also on YouTube, the only copy of the song anywhere outside of most, or well, the remix at least. 
So if you want to look it up, you can look up there and just watch it too. Or you can play it in game and then suffer because your eyes are bleeding. So next up, we will be checking out <laughs> number five. Or well, four. They're both, there's another tie, actually. <laughs> so one of the mm-hmm. number four is Sakura Burst Glacier Fall, hosted by Step Domino. And it's the difficulty get up. Oh. I love the swear. <laughs> and I do have to say, overlays are a pretty new feature and they're pretty cool. Pretty epic underutilized layer. <laughs> This one is very funny because if you put up the oh, if you put the background dim all the way up, it just makes the assets black. <laughs> uh, the, that would still look pretty cool, I think, would it? <laughs> yeah, I think that definitely everyone that voted for it recognizes that Hokichi and Munehime, they definitely nailed it on the style points for this guy. God bless Hokichi and Mune. <laughs> And like integrating it with the map itself, like when you see kind of like the nice little vector squares going along with the funny slider, those are personally my favorite parts. <laughs> a <little> funny slider. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a really cool way of like having the map elements influence how the storyboard could be presented. <laughs> it's real like. Oh, where's my boy Hoki? He doesn't get enough recognition. <laughs> Where is Hokichi when you need him? That is so true. What are those sliders? There aren't. What you really should be asking is... <laughs> Should we ask you, what is the storyboard? It's rocks! <laughs> it goes hard. This comes as the master, right? <laughs> And just, okay. you know what? Thank you, Scub, for hosting Epic Projects. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Scub, for being awesome as always. <laughs> yeah. Next up, we'll be uh, checking out the other number four. So here you go, Duck. <laughs> yeah, number four, uh, t- our tie for fourth place is uh, Yonakura Chihiro, uh, Dear My Waker, hosted by Skystar. It's the one. Uh, Storyboarded by Kuse? Yeah. I don't know Kuse? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kuse? I say... Kuse. I apologize if I pronounced that wrong, but it's so... still... <laughs> so... So, this one really takes, um, visual novel storyboarding to the next level? Yeah, <laughs> doing plenty more uh, than turning a slideshow of the CGs and making something that could quite literally pass as a music video on its own. <laughs> Honestly, some of you guys should start just re-uploading your work to YouTube as fan music videos. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of off-screen objects in these maps, it's so true. Is it really? <laughs> No, it's just the overlay design, guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, look at that Sinanazi. It's so subtle, little change from the sky box, the little sky painting there. From blurred to putting into focus. Really enjoyed like all the ways they fake um, masking, too. <laughs> like yeah. Black screens. Everyone doing it the best they can with what they got in, this, <laughs> in the editor.
Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> I love when storyboards make very good use of easing. <laughs> I feel like as a this an Aaron guy, probably. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I, I play visual. I've never played the game. I just looked at the storyboard and I'm like, this is epic, <laughs> and also boots. Ooh, look how atmospheric this is. <laughs> the rays, the god rays look pretty good there. Kind of before it opens up again, and it like really reverses what we usually see throughout most of the rest of the storyboard, where you have like scenes kind of trapped inside like a black box with the lyrics on the side, but instead now the wings are trapped in a black box. I don't know, I just really enjoy how they mix that up for the climax of the song. Yeah, visual contrast! <laughs> it's an effective uh, storyboard element. <laughs> That's a mighty comfy chair, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so we're done having ties, I promise. So next up is number three, um, Gareki no Yume, storyboarded by our god, YF Bim, also known as the elite storyboarder two of Oaks. The real. <laughs> so as a good trivia, um, it is also in the storyboard towards the end, too. So... Okay, why I fit this a god with this, I don't think I really need to explain how. But also, everything in the internet, it comes back to Toho eventually. Um, this video is based off of another music video for a Toho song. And he, like, took the kind of ideas from that and then totally made it into a new thing for this... I guess it's another era, okay, probably? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> and like when you look at them, you can really see the where those ideas come from, but like also how YFN really made it into its own original identity for O's. <laughs> yeah, this is a storyboard. Like nothing less from YFBMP. You might need a strong computer to handle some of the scenes, though. <laughs> you need a 3090 at least for this. <laughs> Absolutely polished storyboard, though, I gotta say. There's so many... Like, so much stuff going on, so many subtle effects going on that really just... So many points bring this up. <laughs> yeah! Like, I know it's really subtle as well, I love that there's a little... What it to be a motion blur for... <laughs> when the text move around as well, like, I think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. You know what's kind of insane is that YF Pimp used like maybe two CGs from the game, this whole storyboard. It's all just that girl again and again, but like, 
with all the lyrics and different compositions, he makes it so interesting the entire time. It's just honestly started watching the music video. I just like the story See, like, oh my god, I, I slipped up my words. <laughs> it looked like a music video to me. <laughs> Alrighty, Ooh. so second place now uh, will is Hakushi Hasegawa Sabakude, uh, hosted and storyboarded by Disco. So. The storyboard starts out pretty epic with the shapes that fly at you and make you feel anxiety as the music hits you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> honestly, honestly, this is definitely one of my favorite storyboards of 2021. I remember when I first saw this, I was like, eyes wide open, bro. <laughs> Especially one very special part at some point in this storyboard, where literally has not been seen anywhere else, <laughs> and I can't wait to see it. Honestly, we still haven't seen it again yet. People are scared of his power. And honestly, can't go wrong with any some Hakushi Hasegawa. Oh, Sydney's more or less. <laughs> also, I do have to say that storyboarding and mapping just it all yourself is a huge flex. <laughs> <laughs> the amount of work that must have gone into this. <laughs> Avert your eyes, guys, watch out! Slide up the left sea warning, although it's too late for that. <laughs> guys... This is still a storyboard. Aw, oh, yeah. This is still a storyboard. I think someone broke the background. Guys, guys, what is that? Um, what's insane is that. The background image is basically broken into like a billion layers of a bunch of rings, and then some of the layers have multiple rings on them. And so you rotate them each like a different amount to get the effect, and it's insane. <laughs> it's so beyond me how this could have been made, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> I, w I can't explain this. <laughs> oh man. I just remember when I got Salaf the first time, I literally got chills. <laughs> the coolest fucking effect I've ever seen. Don't let that distract you too much though from the fact that the rest of the storyboard is really fucking sweet. And I feel like it really fits like the kind of vibe of the song with its own kind of unique look, so that's so cool. So... <laughs> Next up, we are going to be checking out number one. There's a slight vote gap here, so they have first choices, 23 votes, second slash third choices, 15 votes, and fourth plus, three votes. So you can see that everyone that voted for this, basically, that's their first choice! <laughs> Just fucking boosted numbers right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is 
True DJ Mag Top Ranker Song Senpen Got That Cutie Remix. What the fuck is that title? Um, storyboarded by Tommy Phelps the Legend. Who just got his own at least storyboarded title this year as well. We much deserved. Mm -hmm. Tommy Phelps' like visual design, as well as kind of like his execution when it comes to his animations, is so well done. <laughs> exactly. This dude breathes design. Tommy Phelps is the more successful brother of the <laughs> <laughs> And also, if your eyes are strong enough, this is definitely something I would suggest, like, playing with it on with the map at least once. Because during the parts that matter, he has, like, these really sick designs, but they're, like, chill enough while being animated that they're not really distracting. Unless you're nice. <laughs> I would probably get distracted playing this. I would be too busy looking at the storyboard. <laughs> Ooh, shiny lines. <laughs> Ooh, shiny lines. Ooh, pretty design, look! <laughs> Ooh, pretty planets. Pretty and shapes, like the, wow! Like, quasi 3Ds. I like that style of quasi 3D. Give that to me every day. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretty nice switch up on the visuals that I feel yeah. also fit very well with the change in the tone of the music as well. Design for this part is also very distinctly cool. It's just yeah. like a lot of memorable scenes kind of put together, and because of, he like takes really very good advantage of like how the remix just goes hard. <laughs> and I don't know how well it shows, but this is the only spectrum in a top three that I would ever approve of. Look how cool it looks! <laughs> Oh, it's gone. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is a well deserved, well deserved number one place. Honestly. Tommy Phelps, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They got for Tommy Phelps. <laughs> Yes. Use your categories right after this, actually. Speaking of user categories, so again, congratulations on that win for Senbaku DJ. Tell me, Phelps. So, uh, yeah, for our fifth place, <laughs> for user, for grand user, or sorry, <laughs> grand storyboarder, <laughs> we have Pano. storyboard has a little bit of a build up, but it's so pretty! <laughs> a little bit of a start, a little bit of a start 
Well, this is one of his 2021 storyboards. And it is a kind of simplicity in his works. He always kind of like just nails, making it pretty nice to like play with and just like kind of look at and relax with too. <laughs> yeah, a nice sweet little storyboard that you can for sure have on the back, on the, uh, as you're playing. <laughs> people in this world that don't know wait what <laughs> maybe they're joking <laughs> i know but <laughs> i think between this and again rpg which we saw in the top eight for the storyboards themselves storyboard category itself photo did pretty nice work in 2021 yeah so Wonderful little additions to the grand collection of storyboards. <laughs> yeah, kind of just like a long time veteran and lord, yes. <laughs> but then yeah. on the other hand, next up we'll be checking out our number four. Our beloved venerable Nyanta. I hope I said that correctly. <laughs> So, Yanta is a much newer storyboarder, but he's been doing a lot of really cool work, um, especially in 2022 so far, but we're not in 2022 yet. We're time traveling to 2021 to one of his early, earlier storyboards here. So with 18 first choice votes and 13 second slash third choices, I think those people know what they're talking about. Because this storyboard is sick. <laughs> the storyboard is style incarnate, <laughs> which I think. I had a hard time choosing which one we would showcase for their user category win because a couple of other storyboards Yanta did in 2021, like Contra by Pixel Terror, hosted by <laughs> the noble Nyanta, was also <laughs> super cool. And the <laughs> <laughs> inside of a room of games. <laughs> I can't Where? believe Yanta predicted the saxophone rhythm game. <laughs> Fucking epic sax guy reference. <laughs> right there. Well. I love oh that. Oh my god, the epic other rhythm game's trombone. My bad, my bad. <laughs> oh, <laughs> trombone jam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Love you, Yanta, for doing that. That was so. I love that. <laughs> Also, cutting the background in half is so smart. That looks so <laughs> pretty. Yeah, that really adds for some pretty awesome style. <laughs> pretty awesome. Why have it from the bottom or the top? <laughs> and also, like the just like subtle kind of static effects throughout, and like the more obvious motion design parts, it comes Indeed. together really well. And this is one of his earlier storyboards. Imagine what he's doing now. Oh, I have no idea. We're in 2021. We're time traveling. All right, Doug. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> yeah, we'll see in 2022 what else Nianta has in store. But here we have for third place is Jerry for <laughs> Grand Storyboarder, who is, I assume, Tycho's beloved storyboarder. <laughs> he does Lord many, many works for Tycho, Proving yeah. Tycho. Tycho exists. <laughs> Cons proving, consistently proving that Tycho exists with 35 first place choices. Let's go. <laughs> and so besides the original storyboards that Jerry also makes, this is a really good example of how Jerry's able to kind of like take a bigger design and translate it to Tycho Playfield because this is like a remake of the music video, but the music video, you know, is... It's a, a, it's a normal video size. <laughs> he made it ultra wide. Because he knows what he's doing with this. And it's so cute. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. 
Although he still is strong as a VTuber simp as ever. <laughs> it's okay, if it means that we get these six storyboards out of those, then by all means. <laughs> Okay. And I like that. That was a nice touch at the top half of the. Is that be kind of like a timeline for the how far in with the song we are? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they died. I like how they disappeared from the top too, because they're dead. <laughs> He really cares about the storytelling. And I really try to sell the fact that they died. <laughs> Will our heroes ever return from this? <laughs> what do you think, Nafi? <laughs> yes. Yes? Um, oh, shoot! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, spoilers, I don't have song! <laughs> <laughs> but Jerry's also been involved in quite a few other cool projects. For example, the expert Global Techo Showdown. He was one of he was the storyboarder for one of the like custom maps that they did for that. And that was also super super cool if you want to check that out. Besides that also gets to be too Sans game. This, no, this song is older than that. I think the chat. <laughs> Which sad. <laughs> also, we can't understate the technical skill that it takes to pull off some of the things that Jerry does, as well as like the time to like go through and extract the images he needs for this. Because it's not like they're just out there. You know, you gotta like actually. Clean them, fix them, put them back in, reanimate everything, redesign everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so next up we'll be checking out our number two user. Very surprising. So we have YF YF is here. So this part is actually a video. So besides the other YF Fib storyboard we saw earlier, this, this there's this one that's really unhinged. So if you miss a note on this, and if we could switch to this note version. <laughs> If you don't hit the notes, that's when you see the storyboard, because the other part was a video that plays when you hit the notes. And instead of storyboarding it normally, this is all just real one really long animation file that plays the whole song. I don't know why. But I can't I can't parse this myself. <laughs> But yeah, uh, the overlay kind of covers it, but the lyrics are in sync with the song at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so this makes good use of more obscure storyboarding features, the pass and fail layers. <laughs> so not only is YFM really nailing it in terms of like animation, easing, visual design, making really, really cool other projects like we saw in the top eight, but just like, what? Master <laughs> Troll? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Imagine putting in this much work and literally no help. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, this is why I have been with 17 first choice votes, 25 second slash third choice choice votes, and 9 fourth place plus choices. 
Yeah, I'll, I gotta be honest, I, re- I actually didn't know that this map had a story bird until the end <laughs> Yeah. I thought it was just a video, honestly. <laughs> but, you know, you learn something new every day. Hidden storyboard by YFM for the ultimate easter egg. So, Master <laughs> Storyboarder, Elite Storyboarder 2, and Master Troll. We need to update the user titles on his page soon. Question, Tachi. How about you take it from here? Oh, are we going on to the yeah. grand number one now? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So, for number one of Grand Storyboarder is Tochi, <laughs> our one and only and beloved goaded storyboarder of ever. <laughs> <laughs> Tochi. <laughs> Everyone loves Tochi. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't love Tochi? <laughs> <laughs> With yeah, 34, 34 first place votes. <laughs> 18 second and third choices, and 9 fourth choices. <laughs> rigged with skill. Yeah, rigged with skill. <laughs> um. Showcase map for Toshi here is actually not ranked yet, but it is from 2021. It counts. Yeah, because the 2021 work, so... Storyboards will have that exception. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard Storyboard to work for guys. Yeah. <laughs> 2021 and 2022 are different years, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Anyways, all we need now is for like 20 people to start copying Tochi very closely, and become the second Tochi and third Tochi and the fourth Tochi. Tochi was everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I look forward to seeing when Tochi takes over the world with his remix slash videos. Who knows what this man can do in with After Effects? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Manifesting Tochi Mark God, II. God, Tochi Designs come on start. That's, you know, considering how today is going, valid. Valid. Yo, thinks this. You playing like shit? Not kidding. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mickey Swords and Blunder. Navi already did that. <laughs> the Blunder Cube. <laughs> yeah, I'll... What a nice pristine little storyboard though. And I think Toshi is excellent at making very clean... Well presented maps. <laughs> storyboard design. Yeah. You know, my question is though, how are these people breathing in space? Anyway, I, <laughs> I think too hard about these things. <laughs> oh, it's metaphorical. They're coming together. <laughs> Even in the infinite reaches of space, they met each other. Yeah, nothing's gonna stop their love, that's what this is. <laughs> Nothing's stopping it. Aww. They're ghosts. Oh no, they died already? What? <laughs> I think we need to get some input from Tochi on the lore here. You forgot you made the song? <laughs> Imagine with the remix. Oh. <laughs> so congratulations again to Tochi on this win for MCA 2021, as well as our other storyboarders, because we're seeing a good mix of old legends and some really cool new up and coming people lately. I'm very excited for where storyboarding's going in 2022. Mm-hmm. 
hyped to see what other kind of storyboards that could be showcased in 2022. And thank you all for tuning in today. I hope you had a good time seeing some beautiful storyboards. Make sure to message the storyboards, storyboarders with all your love and appreciation for their work whenever you see it, because sometimes you guys don't know they're there, right? <laughs> so thank you all for coming, and I'll see you again next time. Ciao. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>